Hello and welcome to an After Effects tutorial. I'm John from the Tech Grounds, and I'm going to be showing you how to make your own gunshot effect. Uh, the muzzle flash, in particular. Uh, the blood pretty much follows the same credo as this. It's kind of cheap blood. You can um, get better plugins from like videocopilot.net. But for right now, uh, we're just going to do the muzzle effect. And I didn't really have a gun, so I just kind of used my hands. But, you know, if you have a fake gun, um, use that. I just wanted to be a little funny, too. Uh, here's, what we're, here's the finished product, hopefully. So you know I shoot and I shoot the screen it turns yellow kind of like a, a a bond effect like you know at the beginning of the movies where he's looking through the muzzle of the gun and bond shoots the shit out of him and then he uh you know blood is everywhere uh it's a really easy effect if you're new to after effects it, you know why are you watching this video it's well if you're familiar with it then this should be a breeze for you uh, so right off the bat, what we want to do is we want to create a new solid. Why is my mouse flickering? Uh, we want to make it, you know, kind of yellowish, a bright yellow. Okay, make composition size. Click OK. So um, now it's just yellow. What does that do? Well, we're going to bring down the opacity here to around um, 0%. And take the pen tool zoom her in there and find the point where um, my fingers there we go uh, you know do that like the trigger motion or when your finger hits the bottom of the trigger motion whatever trigger hammer action it does not matter what you call it so now it's masked we can turn up the opacity we don't want to drag turn up the opacity so now we have that. Um, now we can edit the fine points itself. Uh, yeah, that should be good. And we want to go down to masks. And we want to uh, click mask one, obviously. Mask feather. Bring it up to about four points or, you know, seven points. And mask expa expansion. And bring that up to about... Um, two pixels so it'll be you know it'll be fine and it'll be um, bigger than our target area you might want to bring it up a little bit but if you bring it up a little too much it's gonna get uh, really cluster rape to there so right now we just this is what it looks like currently and it just kinda stays there well that's not what we want oh if you're wondering in that in the background that was bullet with butterfly wings by Smashing Pumpkins. Shit. Yes, I'm wearing an Abbey Road t-shirt with a Smashing Pumpkins song playing in the background. <sighs> Sorry, my computer's being a little bit, a little bit of a tit. Um, so, right now, you want to click uh, click the stopwatch for mask opacity to get in the clip and bring it down to zero. Then, you know, page down until you hit that point where I go kaboom. Right there, you want to uh, bring it up. Well, right now, you just want to hit that and make another keyframe at uh, about, I don't know, 2% two, two, uh, opacity. And then go forward and bring it up to 100. Down another frame. Bring her down to um, 63%. Bring her then another frame, bring her down to eight percent, and then another frame, bring her down to zero. So right now it should look a little bit like this. Right? Just a quick flash in the pan. Um so you know, so it doesn't really follow it, does it? My hand, well not really. So what what we want to do is we want to go up here and click mask path turn on the stopwatch right here uh, and you want to click on your mask and you want to do this and you want to highlight this all and then go forward to frame and then maybe drag it back okay that seems good so now let's uh, 
you know, I start to pivot here. Hooray for Abbey Road. You, you can only see, like, the trees and skyline, but oh well. There's my pimp hat. <laughs> I don't know, I could probably get recruit a bunch of sluts at our school and make a pimp house, you never know. Sorry, my computer is loading because it doesn't have much RAM, only gigabyte and a half. So, um, now that we're completely turned around, what we do is, right here, wherever I'm about to shoot, right here, what we want to do is we want to double click up here on that icon, and we want to reverse this thing by just clicking on the points. Load, thank you. Uh, using these points and redoing them, pretty essentially. So just do that. It shouldn't take, you know, that long. No, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you can also add a point if necessary, which seems to be mandatory here to m make it not look like crap. Here we go. Barum, barum. Perfect. Not really, but. You get the idea. So, you know, go down. Oh, I move. Wonderful. So, uh, drag it over. Right here. And right here, we want to bring up the opacity, or go up a frame, sorry. Bring up the opacity to maybe two. Because if you, uh, don't even bring down the opacity and then you instantly jump to a hundred, um, from one key point to the other like let's say it was zero here and then a hundred here with no middle ground it would just be being uh, going to yellow instantly or over time over this period of time it would be completely yellow whereas if you have it between one and two percent it's going to be pretty much transparent to the person that is viewing it so now right here we want to crank her up to a hundred uh, right here you know Crank her back down to 49 or something. And here you can put it back down to zero. So that should look pretty good. And you can see it animates right there. Another little shot. Alright, so now I kind of shoot the camera. Because I shot the camera. Never mind. <laughs> um, and right here. I don't know, whatever I pull the finger. And the reason why I'm using my left hand to shoot is because I'm left-handed, quite frankly. It's easy to explain. Looks like a... I don't know, looks like a, the Arbiter, almost. There we go. So, we want to animate it, obviously. So, double-click up there. And make it so it's like a splash effect. Like, you just know those crappy movies? Those cheesy, cheesy splash effects you want to recreate one of those except you know we're not a cheesy we're not a cheesy studio we're amateurs hooray for amateurism and all my friends will get that joke but you guys won't believe me it's a long long short story essentially I just went into our uh, homeroom class and yelled hooray for fascism yeah that cocked a few eyebrows <laughs> So, you know, move her over a little bit. Right here looks about good. And you also want to bring up the opacity to 1%. Go forward right here is where I shoot. Bring her up to here. But we're not going to um, bring it down because I shot the camera. We want to click on the stopwatch for mask expansion. And then right here go page up expand it um, you know a little bit you know two frames there bring her up more another two frames bring her up more another two frames bring her up more and um, yeah that's our effect <laughs>